Hello, 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 and welcome into the Hourglass. Welcome if you are new. Happy birthday to the Geminis. We are now going into cancer season. Ow. <laughs> All right, so let's see what's going on. This could be channel message. This could even be things that are hidden that are now playing out. I hope you guys are feeling iry. It's so great to be back. Thank you guys so much for commenting for liking for subscribing for sharing my videos you guys thank you so much for being a part of the hourglass community so let's see what's going on let's see what's going on Ooh, that clap was sour <laughs> all right let's see what's going on love romance for my person it says worth waiting for and wedding ow so this could be somebody's energy or thoughts or emotions towards you it could be mutual so take the messages as it resonates we have make the effort so this could be someone that you're waiting for for some of you this could be someone that you're in separation and you're still friends or you're still trying to keep it friendly and quadral or polite but this person may feel like you're worth waiting for and in the right time you guys are going to have a commitment a very serious commitment as well this person may feel like this is a great love and it's worth taking the steps and the steps may be for this time being that this person has to get their shit together i feel like they're in the darkness or there could be a little bit of distort distortion or misunderstanding or a lack of knowledge about commitments for some of you this could be something to do with a job maybe you're a wedding planner or event planner or somebody around you in your uh work your work uh place maybe getting married maybe your boss and you could be wanting to ask for an advancement but you may be feeling like now is not the right time too much may be going on but i do feel like this person is in the dark or they're not really educated about marriage about weddings about what's the difference hey i feel like this person they may have known you for a long time or you guys have history or you guys inner child play really well. But I feel for some of you, whether you're the man or the woman or this is same sex, I feel like the person that's watching, it's more in the receptive energy. So I feel like you're waiting. You're not waiting, but you are looking for a certain uh, requirement from this person. And until you get it, it is going to be what it is. This is. This is what I'm getting. So in the right time, this person may be able to work on this love uh, life with you, this love with you. And it could even get into a, a beautiful, healthy marriage. But right now, this person has to work or put in effort to meet you at your standards. Whomever is in the feminine receptive energy, I feel like this person knows that they have to put in that effort to meet your requirements or standards. And they do feel, and for some of you, this person may already uh, surrendered or already at peace at the right timing they already have it in their mind it's already accepted that when it's going to be it's going to be it's going to happen so this person may have uh got that enlightenment through visions through dreams or they just know deep down in their soul in their heart they know that this wedding or this marriage is going to be the end game for others of you or if you're in a marriage i feel like some things has been happening and somebody's trying to not buy your love or buy your forgiveness but they're trying to sweep you up all right and they feel they may feel like if they broken your trust again if you're married to this person or you're in your long-term commitment with this person this person may feel like they've broken your trust whether they fail to show up or they fail to hold up some agreements or promises i feel like they're trying to gift you or they're trying to sweep you up so you could kind of lower your shield but they do feel like they have certain steps to to take uh for this love life or for this marriage to get back on track or come out of the darkness so this is two groups, one that is married and the other group marriage is really a good potential or it's on the horizon for some of you. But again, there's some steps that needs to be taken before this could happen or transpire. And I feel like either both of you know this or this person knows it. 
So let's see what's the clarifying or the connecting card between worth waiting for and wedding. So some of you may have a W in your name, maybe Wilson, Wilkerson, William, Williams, Will. I'm hearing Will I am. <laughs> Wendy, Wisconsin, anything with a W may be very striking or is very important. White, uh, maybe a color or a last name as well. Winnie. We need a poo. All right, what is the connecting card here? Or this is just a win-win. Somebody feels like this is a win-win situation. What is the connecting card here? Mm, very wealthy man. So for some of you, uh, this person wants to be wealthy. Their definition of wealth may differ from yours or you guys share that in common. But I feel like in due time, this person is working on their financial pursuits or goal. I'm hearing they're a pain in the ass or they feel like this pursuing to be wealthy, it's a pain in the ass sometimes. Sometimes I feel like they feel very nervous because they want you to look up to them or they want to be your provider and your protector. This person could also be very superstitious or they were born on the 13th. They may also feel like uh, you're their light in their darkness or you're the only good thing in a life of because I'm getting this rat race energy. So I don't know if this person is in a very competitive field or life is a game to be played or there's a lot of snakes in the pit. There's a lot of sharks and you're the only pure thing with the white. You're the only pure, innocent, good thing in this person's life. And this is why they feel, yo, it's worth waiting for or I'm going to do what the fuck I have to do until the time comes when I could be this person for you. So this is a person that's doing what they got to do for the end game. This could be a gentleman figure as well, or they want to treat you like a gentleman. Some of you, this person may be older, or this is what they were trained to do. Corey, Curtis, Duke, I'm also getting that this person, I'm getting like a divine feminine in a man. So I don't know if this, this man is allowing their divine feminine energy to, uh, it's, it's in them. They're letting it flourish because it's helping them to be more loving and caring. It allows their faith. It's allow it's allowing them to have this deep trust in knowing is trust in this deep knowingness. So they may be embracing their divine feminine energy or you're their divine feminine and they're allowing you to get close to them or to have this unity or to have this togetherness because they trust you. You bring faith or you restore their faith. You're the only good thing in their life. I keep hearing that. You're the only good thing in my life. This person may have a business proposal or they're enticed by business proposals as well. This could also be a person that wants to marry you and be your business partner for some of you. I feel like um, if you are married to this person, they are really headstrong in money making ventures i feel like you guys did share mutual benefits or you guys used to work together or it's something very similar about how you work or your work ethics but some of you may feel betrayed by your husband or by your spouse some of you may be married to a woman and she has this masculine shield where uh, she doesn't want to be humiliated. So money, it's something that um, makes her feel complete or hold or loving. So maybe you're married to a woman that needs money to feel uh, powerful and loving. That, that's for some of you. So there is a wealthy man for some of you. If you have been taking the steps that you were guided to take on this love journey, I feel like on the horizon, you're going to meet the man or the woman of your dreams. This person is wealthy or they have the possibility to have this wealth, this love and this marriage with you. But it's worth waiting for. Know that it's in divine timing, not your ego timing. So if you're already surrendered to that, go out and pursue your wealth, go out and pursue or revise or rebrand your definition of wealth we have one plus three is four four is a very stable number four walls create a house so there is a foundation or there's financial security financial freedom that somebody's working on 
in this waiting period of having this union, this togetherness, and possible a marriage for you. Uh, we have great fortune. Wow. So somebody's luck or great fortune is about to change. I feel for some of you, you feel like you have met the person of your dreams. This could also be that you guys may have had visions or dreams or you known this person when you were a child. Some of you, you could have lost this person uh, or you could have met or you could have crossed path when you guys were children, maybe at Disney World or an amusement park, or you guys were just always in each other's radar or in each other's energy field, but never met until you guys became adults. So you, maybe you're coming from the same uh, background or childhood area, but you never met this person until you became an adult or a teen or a young adult. Some of you uh, could be in an arranged marriage, but you're changing the game. I feel for some of you, you're changing the game. You're not doing what your family wants you to do, which is married for money or married for assets. I feel like you're breaking this chain. You may be very rebellious or you look good at doing it or you're getting away doing it with the wealthy man. So even if you're a female and your family wants you to marry such and such, I feel like you're getting away or you're going to get away with living the way how you want to live. Hmm. Some of you may look like a goddess or a god or this person feels like you're a goddess. Uh, your birth date may be on the 13th or the 26th. I also feel like with the good fortune, that powerful energy I felt, and I felt like the divine feminine energy. So even if you're a guy that's watching, I feel like right now uh, you're taking the guided steps that you need to take to kind of heal your divine feminine energy. And I feel like with that, you're going to encounter a goddess. So when you heal that divine feminine energy or template within yourself, you're going to be able to recognize that goddess in your waking or material world. There's happiness, there's fruitfulness. Somebody feels like if they marry you or if they join uh, power with you, this is what they're going to get. Now with great fortune challenges or obstacles may be before this fortune so it's nothing to harm you but there is something here to challenge and i feel like this is this person feeling towards you whatever they felt before it has changed they just see this as a challenge to rise to the occasion with make the effort so you may be intensifying somebody's positivity or again you are the only good thing in this person's life and they feel lucky blessed to have you and i feel like right now they're in a good period even though they may be waiting to meet you or to be with you they're in a good period on this wealth Things are suddenly changing for this person and you as well. And I feel like they want to announce that to you. For some of you, this person may want to announce to their family or their coworkers or their friends that they feel really satisfied uh, with you. And if they can't be with you right now, they're okay with that because they could feel this end game. I'm also seeing the, the finish line flag waving. Somebody's waving the finish line. So again, they may feel like you're the end game. You're the finish line. And they're having new perspective. They're improving because this relationship matters. Make the effort. But again, it's their period to get their life together. To provide uh, comfort for themselves before they could give it to you. For some of you, this person's in a winning streak. And this is why they feel really good about the idea of marrying you. Now, with great fortune and worth waiting for, it could feel like it's short-term uh, winning streak, but it's bringing new opportunities, and this person knows it deep down that this is their time. Lady luck or good fortune, this person is, is like they're making the hours worth it. Wow. So summertime maybe the great fortune. So this is a timestamp. And again, 13 or 26 could be birth dates. So somebody wants to have this power couple with you. Others of you, you're going through a good period and you're going to have a business proposal. It's going to feel like luck is on your side. Take the steps that you're guided to take. 
So you're going to have to be in the present. You can't let past uh, situations or thinking too far ahead in the future. You're going to have to be in the present to kind of snag or grab or claim these opportunities that's coming. All right. So, yes, I love that. All right. So let's see how this person may be feeling about marrying you. Because even though they feel like you're good, you're their good thing in their life and you bring a lot of luck or they feel like they're winning with you by their side, there may be some hesitation. Hey, all right. So how are they feeling about this marriage? They feel so it's two different groups. So let's talk about the people that has a potential of getting married. This person feels very weak to you. Uh, you know how they say we uh, exchange power or energy you're this person's weakness but you're also their strength i feel like they've they already give in to this possibility or this idea of marrying you they're like dumbfounded or enchanted by you but i do feel like there's a little bit of doubt here that this person may screw up or this is like this winning streak is going to suddenly turn into a nightmare it's like they always want they're always waiting for this shoe to drop so right now it's nothing that this person could do to speed things up and that's why they feel ineffective as well so right now whatever is playing out this person already knows that they have no power to control it or to change it so they may be going with the floor right now and making improvements as it's needed as well Wow, so they're overwhelmed. They have a lot going on. And I feel like in many ways, they are relieved that this waiting period is their time to get their shit together. Some of you, this person may be very adventurous or their life is adventurous or uh, it's a real challenge to balance all of these uh, responsibilities this person is basically swamped they may be a business person as well so their agenda or their schedule is like swamped business uh business is always the order of the day as well they may be into education or there's a teacher hey uh or they're balancing healthy diet or maintaining their health while their business still wanting to prepare for this marriage so this person is overwhelmed they may have a lot of burdens but they make it look real nice they still uh maintain their gentleman or politeness and that could be because of you you keep them in check you make them want to be better or have a higher uh, placements in life or society. Tell me how this person may be feeling about taking or making the effort towards you. They're trusting. Then I tell you there's a deep trust in there's this deep inner knowing and trust in that. So this person trusts you. You are worth Every effort, every risk this person takes, because even when they're drowning or even when it seems like they're losing, they're really winning with great fortune. So their trust, they trust you. All right. This is this person that uh, doesn't feel away or they don't feel scattered or afraid or doubtful that if they fall back, you're going to catch them. So they see you as very reliant, very dependable, very trusting. They could also see you as an earth angel, the one good thing in their life. And they trust you. They trust the way how you think. They trust you to point out business. Uh, they trust you to point out phony business partners as well. So you could be someone that watches this person's back. Or again, when you're around, you're this goddess God energy. You bring that God like uh, vibe to this person's life. So they're cleaning up something, I feel. And that could be even clean up themselves. They're coming off of one boat and going on to another boat. So the challenges, the burdens is head before this great fortune. Let's see how this person feels about, mar about being involved with you. So even if you're not married to them, this person may feel like they're married to you already. They're devoted to you. So how does this person feel that they're involved with you? They feel powerless. Oh my gosh. So you're the boss or something. So they're afraid. Wow. So this is the look on their person's face. So it's not self-doubt. They're really frightened. 
this whole marriage, this whole getting themselves ready to be a spouse or to be a devoted companion, it is scaring the fuck out of them. I heard it scared the bejesus out of them. They are very aware of the, the trials or the threats or the scares that's coming with it. But they want to walk with you down this dark path or this mysterious path this is new to them maybe they never been married or they never had a, a, a feeling of wanting to marry someone so it's scaring the shit out of them so your person is trying to defeat these fears but they want to accompany you on this path this new path in life and they feel like great luck or great fortune is on both of your sides so it's not a bad thing that they feel powerless to you, but you make them wink. You make them like a lap dog or a puppy dog. <laughs> You're the strong one is what I'm hearing. So they may be very strong or they may have like this very brute or stoic reputation, but you're actually the power. You're the powerful one. Hey, and they know it. I feel like they want to protect you. And wealth is part of uh, having protection here for this person. I'm hearing you make me weak in my knees. I think that guy from Ghost, and he played in um, Babe. Does this person call you Babe? I can't remember the movie, but it's like Patrick Swayze. Patrick Swayze has a song. I'm getting gone with the wind also, but Patrick Swayze has a song where he's literally saying that she's out of my league. She's out of my league. I'm, I'm powerless, but I'm still, I'm, I'm still glad that you love me. Something like that. Patrick Swayze, big up on yourself in the comment box. If you get turned on to it, or if you know it, big up on yourself in the comment box. All right. So this person is very weak. They're like, count me in. I'm hearing I'm down for whatever. So this person feels down for whatever. But right now, they may be in a position in life where they can't do anything to speed this up. They can't do anything to make a union happen right now. So this could be that they're away on business or they're on the other side of the world. Whatever it is, it's preventing this person to be with you right now. But this relationship, this marriage, it's very important to this person. So let's see. It's a very scary road or this person warned you that it's not going to be easy. And I feel like you were like, I'm down for it. Or the both of you just have this mutual uh, silent agreement like, hey, I'm down for it. Once we're together, it's very powerful. It's blessed. We're winning, right? All right. So let's see what's going on. I don't know why I thought about um, that guy that had that show and they they had a big thing about him catching HIV. And he used to always say, winning. I don't know who, what's that guy's name, but he had a TV show where he was the uncle and his brother and his nephew was staying with him. Charlie Sheen's. Charlie. So we may have a Charlie hair as well. <laughs> Charlie Sheen's. Winning. All right, so let's see what's going on. I want to see what chakra this person is vibrating. So we're going to look at what chakra this relationship or marriage, or this could even be a spiritual union or marriage. Uh, I want to see what is tethering. What chakra is it tethering from? Which is the strongest chakra that you guys are tethering from? Wow. Okay. So present. Mama was talking about staying present. Oh. All right, so let me tell you something. Somebody may be sick here or somebody suffering with an illness. Again, this person may be trying to juggle their health, their growth, their journey, their business. They may be doing all of this, and this is proven to be overwhelming, uh, but they're holding strong. This may be something that's required or expected of this guy or this man. So he is trying his best to balance all these different assets in their life. They're very strong, but I feel like they feel the strongest when they're with you, a powerful strength. You may be um, their battery, you know, and they want to keep you safe. Some of you, you're, you may be the one that has the health issue. Maybe you have an illness and this makes them want to protect you more. All right. This makes them want to change their life with the five. Hey, as well, uh, 44. So you guys may be very different, opposite of each other, but this person, 
you make them sit up, you make them pay attention to this connection. This connection actually grounds this person in reality. It does something for their health as well, makes them strong, makes them feel powerful. So you may be that lucky charm. You may be that rabbit's foot because if they're superstitious, they may feel like you were placed in their life to bring blessings and they want to protect that. Some of you may have, or you may be the queen bee. Or summertime is your thing, right? And we have a lot of bees or honey. Maybe they call you honey or babe or baby honey, honey bun. It's a lot of sweet pet names here. But I feel like this person was not your type and you're not their type. But you guys feel really blessed in this connection. And it brings a lot of awareness in the outside world. So the both of you may cause each other to wake up, to open your eyes to reality. Some of you may be hope to this person so you make them want to be responsible you may be very reliable or reliant they trust you you bring a lot of fulfillment to their life you push them to be responsible maybe you're very spicy or you, again you hold the power in the relationship but they love it maybe you're a writer ride or die wink wink or you like to be on top but you're very gentle but you put your foot down when it's needed or you put up boundaries when it's needed and this person respects you for it you put them in place and they love you for it you stand up to them and they love you for it so this person wants to be very responsible with this union they're trying to check themselves they're trying to be healthy for you hmm very interesting they're very aware of the present dangers or threats. I don't know what that means, but this person does. And again, they may feel like it's happening very superstitious or they look for signs. Uh, so the base chakra, the solar plex chakra. And I feel like that was the crown chakra as well. So let's try that again. Which chakra is making the effort coming from? Yes. Okay, so we have the sacral chakra. So there's intimacy. This person wants to work on intimacy. And this could be non-sexual activities as well. Maybe they want to show you just how much they trust you by non-sexual activities. Or they don't try to press you for sex. But if it happens, it's glorious. It's blessings, right? So they have accepted this relationship. They want to be a part of it. It creates a freedom. And this could be a mental, emotional, physical freedom that this person uh, feels when they're with you. Trust is a big thing. So this person definitely trusts you. You may have proven to be a very trustworthy person. You're a goddess or a god. Maybe you're perfect to this person. And this is why they feel powerless to you. They want you... They want you with them with everything they're doing. So you, in the public eye as well, this relationship is proven or shown trust. So I don't know if uh, the relationship strength when other people sees it, they know that it's based off of great love, off of great trust or the utmost trust, the utmost respect. People could see that this person lays their ego before you people could see it it's very obvious here as well communication this person prayed for you this is a person that prayed for a connection like this and they know that it was given to them by the most high this is why they are afraid to mess it up they're gonna have to go through challenge this person is already surrendered that they're going to have to go through challenges to strengthen their character to be the spouse that you need this is the praying man they prayed for you my love they're praying for you right now they want to exchange energy they want to exchange i'm hearing sham my life i'm also hearing elvis presley um elvis presley fools rush in Take my whole life through. Take my hand and pull my whole life through. This person knows that you're their person. They want to spend their life. They want to grow old with you. They don't mind coming home to you. You being up waiting for them when they get home from work. They don't mind if you take their, their coat off. or their. They don't mind if you button up their shirt in the morning. They want to be brushing their teeth with you in the morning. Come on. 
all right so things may have happened that may have separated you guys or you guys are just not in union and this person is praying that they could make it through these trials and these obstacles to get to you uh they may have a life path of two one two three six one two three four six nine we have a lot of fours going on here as well and we have sevens i'm seeing seven eight nine that could be a level or that could be a uh, address that could even i'm even seeing like push buttons and an elevator as well so again this relationship matters to this person it's very important to them but right now whatever cycle or whatever winning streak that they're going in they feel like it's gearing them up it's prepping them to be in this union with you so they're taking the steps and they're praying or hoping that you're taking your guided steps here as well so the ethers is at play this person could be sharing a lot or again the ethers is sharing signs with this person i don't know why i keep getting that this person is superstitious Everything is speeding up with the eight of wands. So things are speeding up. Things are wrapping up. Or this person is being catapulted very quickly in life. So the delays is actually speeding up. Okay, so it's a delay to be with you. It's delayed to being with you. But their life is speeding up. Or they could feel themselves rapidly moving through something here. All right, so we have justice, Lady Justice. So we have Lady Luck and we have Lady Justice. Again, you may be the uh, empathote, I guess how you say that, or you may be an example of truth, of justice, of fairness. Some of you may work with the underdogs or you may be in charity or goodwill or this relationship is high power, is high status. Now, the justice... Um, this could be the eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth. And this person knows that. This is why they're afraid. Hey, something is threatening this person's life. Or they know what they were doing. Hey, to get to this wealthy position. And they're afraid that it could fall back on this wedding. This happiness that they have. This goodness that they have. So your life, your, your person's life, it may have been surrounded with snakes and sharks. And you're the only good thing. You're the only truth, genuine thing in their life. And they want to protect that eye for an eye, tooth for a tooth, life for a life. So they're taking a lot of responsibilities. They already know that you're not going to settle because you already showed them that with your boundaries, with your requirements. So they know that you're not going to settle. So with this justice en energy, I feel like there's cosmic coincidence that's happening. The 13 being superstitious or seeing that as somebody's favorite number, it brings them luck. I feel like there's cosmic coincidence and your person is seeing it, experiencing it. I'm also hearing against all odds with the justice. So there's masterminded going on, going on here with this wealthy man. And I feel like there's cosmic coincidence that's restoring some sort of luck in this person's life. So if they had beat a case or there was legal situation, there's going to be a stroke of luck, a streak of luck going on here. I also feel like your person may be involved with legal stuff or the law. Or again, they want to be in a position, a high position in society with justice. They know that it's justice to get you. It's right. I'm hearing if loving you is wrong, I don't want to be right. <laughs> yeah. Some of you, you're refusing to see the truth about this person. You know that this is your person as well. Some of you may have dreamt about being married to them. You're not looking at the evidence or their proof here. There's proof that this person is yours. Wheel of Fortune. This is faded. This is destiny. Something was, re, re, uh, I'm here, reserved, restored, and readjusted. Something is connecting. The wheel is turning here. This is the stroke of good luck. Stay in the present. We saw the present card, and we have the Wheel of Fortune. You are here now with the Wheel of Fortune. 
I'm also feeling like this person is getting level headed. They're getting healthy as they go through these cycles, getting towards you. Home, fours. Remember, I talked about four. So, four with the wheel of fortune talks about the wheel turning when it comes to foundation, home, home base, root, family. Could even be a racial tradition here, or this is a racial couple. Two of Swords is on my manifestation station in the back of me on the other side of the, the sh I almost said on the other side of the road. So some of you may like that joke. Why did the chicken cross the street or why did the chicken cross the road <laughs> to get on the other side? Duh. But anyway, the Two of Swords was, is letting me know that there's a lot of things being cut away from the core. So your person may be working on cutting things away. You may be needing to cut away certain relationships that was proven to not have intimacy, trust, freedom, and acceptance. There's a cutting away here and that's all part of this destiny, this faith. This is justified. The cosmic court is here. I'm also getting, um, I shouldn't say that. I'm not going to say that, but it's something against all odds. Your person is using their intuition or their gut instinct. Something is against your person right now, or they're in a situation where there is two of the lesser evils. So your person may be in a situation right now where they have two choices, but two of the choices, it's not a good thing. It's not pleasant. Or this person is always facing two choices or decisions that's not pleasant they believe in karma or consequences this is a person that does not want you to pull they don't want to pull you into their darkness they don't want uh you getting hurt or this relationship getting damaged as a consequence to their two of the lesser evils they're in a predicament where they're they, they don't seem stuck but they may be indecisive or they may procrastinate on a decision because the two choices seem very bad. I hope you guys understand what I'm trying to say. So they always feel like the odds is against them. I feel like they mumble in their sleep or they're a mumbler. I don't know. Divine justice is hey with justice wheel of fortune. This person suspect that divine justice is going to bring you to them or you guys are going to come together again. This person is a mastermind and they're if they had bad luck, they are masterminding their way out of bad luck into a winning streak. Hey, this is a very powerful person or they mean what they say i also feel like vengeance is here and this person may feel because we have sevens they may also feel like there's vengeance or suffering seven times over so that's connected to cain and abel cain kill abel and had vengeance seven times over so there's something going on like that here with this person and they don't want you caught in it so they may be protecting you and this doesn't mean that your person is necessary evil or there is necessary evil here to get good luck. Oh my goodness. Eye for an eye. Get black and white. So we have the pillars, black and white, and we have the two swords. So there is uh, obstacles and challenge or obstacles versus challenge. And it's up to your person to get into this mastermind and turn these obstacles into challenges to overcome. I'm also getting something about payroll. Somebody's payroll is under investigation. Or somebody's under investigation here. Or people are always investigating this connection. Or you're always investigating this connection. Your person is always measuring this connection to other relationships. They were denying something here. Okay, so, so, so one of you are denying that this is faded. But this is why you feel powerless towards it. We have the king of swords. So this person is a mastermind. They use logic over their heart. But you're their heart. You're their truth. They want to tell you some sort of truth here, my loves. Somebody studying the book of Exodus or Genesis. Or this person is, they walk with their Bible. Somebody's reading scriptures. I'm also hearing blasphemy. <laughs> king of swords so they want to tell you some truth or you know a lot of their truth you know the kind of man i'm hearing 
Say hello to the bad guy by Jay-Z. Say hello to the bad guy. They say I'm a bad guy. By I came from the bottom. I'm now a mad fly. Right? We don't do these things for the sake of just doing these things. Right? So the fool is hey. So your person may often feel like a fool at times. Maybe when they open their eyes and they see the truth with the, the two of swords. They often feel stupid. And they're shame, but in your eyes, they don't see that. They don't feel ju judged by you. They feel like you're the only good thing in their life, and they don't want to be reckless with it. If they were reckless in the past, let me tell you, they have learned their lesson with the Wheel of Fortune. They learned that fucking lesson. They understand cause and effect. They also understand karma. I was listening to Beanie Signal yesterday i could feel it in the air so this person could feel things in the air and you do too they use logic over or they use reason they use fairness reason and truth to guide them they may be a founder or they have people that look up to them two of swords with the knight of wands yeah they can't look away of something anymore they have to go full force this could also be that somebody may be against them, maybe trying to attack them, and they have to use their gut instinct. There's something that they're made to be, they, they have to choose, but the two choices is not good. Or so they seem. We have the magician. Your person is a very powerful manifester. This is someone that's making things happen. And it could be masterminding and necessary evil involved. They're manipulating. This person is taking things in their own account, in their own hands. This person could manipulate or they could outsmart people. I feel like they're getting a lot of visions with the crown chakra. They're getting a lot of visions about this connection. There, somebody or something is showing them visions about you or about the necessary evil that they're in. Because I feel like there is necessary evil hiding, lurking in the darkness. This person doesn't want to be a fool, but they want to be more spontaneous or you would like them to be more spontaneous. There is karma and this karma is happening to free someone, liberate your person or you or liberate you guys to meet together because the fool is carefree and detached. This could be what your person or how they move. They look detached or they act detached, but they're containing themselves. They are a wild card. Powerful manifestors. The both of you may be very powerful. And this is why you guys trust each other blindly. Blind trust is hey. So with the two of swords, let me go back to my notes. Some, okay, this person's nervous system. So with the, the, the physical health, this person may have an addiction. Maybe their nerves, because we see a lot of nerves or lightning going on here. Maybe when their, their nerves get the best of them, they could tend to act very impulsive, but they think. Or this person thinks and thinks things over and it messes with their nerves. I feel like they have like this death stare. When they look at you, they just stare straight through, through you. But when they look at you, they look at you with enchantment, with, um, with admiration, with wonder. Mm, your part with the magician, king of swords, knight of wands, this person is working to change for the good, for the better. And they're focusing, some of you, this person is working through errors and they're focusing on enemies or things that could prove to be an enemy. Hey, wow. They have a, they have dark sarcasm or they're very sarcastic. Okay. So I feel like your person, they have this superpower of pretending that they don't see things or see something they have this superpower of pretending to say one thing and doing the next i feel like that's why they are a wild card or they have this ability of pretending to feel one thing 
but it's really a next thing with the two of swords. Your person may be avoiding the truth. Or at times they avoid telling you what they're doing, but they want you to trust them. They maybe avoid telling you that they're really suffering with justice and the two of swords. They may have mastered the art of suffering or suffering through their own hell because I'm seeing darkness behind the in the wedding card and the darkness in the, sh the road or the path here. So they have a superpower of mastering the art of suffering. I do feel like they're dividing relationships up as well or measuring and it's like measuring and cutting away something in their life. And they're doing it full force with the eight of ones and the knight of ones. They want peace and happiness. They want the finer taste of joy. So your person, they know what suffering feels like. So they know what joy feels like. obstacles and opportunities is hey okay so there's a um a quote that i wrote with the two of swords in my notes and it goes something like there is there is little difference between obstacles and opportunity the wise the wise are able to turn both to their advantage so i feel like this is what your person doing they're masterminding to their advantage hey and they're doing all of this while they wait to get in union with you or wait to marry you or some of you are married and they want you to trust them because they're liberating themselves i see this as cutting away and liberation for the sake or the health of this relationship Whatever they're into, it could be deteriorating their health. For some of you, this person could have uh, experienced a near death experience. And this is why they're in this two of swords energy where they're cutting away things that are no longer part of their core value. Things that in fact disrupt their selves, them, their selves or disrupt who they are when they're with you. Right. So the pillar being over the king of swords, I feel like they want to tell you the truth or they want to ask you the truth and they want like a yes or no. Because I'm seeing the pillar with yes and no. Or this is just how this person is. They're a yes or no person. So I feel like there is taking the initiative and resistance. It's like they're maintaining some sort of balance between taking the initiative and when not to so they're standing they're in the archway of the light and darkness within themselves and this archway with pouring of the blessings standing in this, in this archway is promoting or there's a steady flow of blessings and harmony when this person is in that archway so even though around them it's a storm of good and evil or sharks and snakes or uh the lesser of two evil or necessary evils your person is standing in the archway in the middle of all of it still trying to maintain or cultivate or nurture this liberating equilibrium within themselves i hope you guys got that for others of you you may have been manipulated uh, with someone that was married I, I feel like you try to deny it you try to deny why this person was going hot and cold in your life or you're trying to deny it now but they're going hot and cold because for some reason they want their freedom over a connection or a reunion they're in this knight of wands energy with the two of swords so whatever they're dealing with they feel like they don't have power over you guys is uniting or coming together what they do know is that they have to take care of some deeds here that they may have been avoiding for a long time it's like i have no choice but to run into this burning building almost and it could be another relationship that they have to cut off, but it's proven to be challenging. So they're going back and forth with another situation that's proven to be very difficult to cut away. They could have been denying that they had to do this, but I feel like now is a time with the present and the wheel of fortune. This person has no choice but to face this fear of cutting away a relationship or 
facing their own intimacy issues, their own denial issues. I'm also seeing like a yellow butterfly. So some of you may be seeing yellow butterflies or somebody's walking the walk of atonement here with justice, wheel of fortune, and the magician having to pay for past deeds or sins or having to deal or accept the consequences of an action here. 2026 may be a room number or digits in a phone number or social security number. So this person may uh, withdraw or they're in isolation or you just don't know where they're at. And, you know, wild card. They believe in karma or they believe in cause and effect. I also feel like they're not leaving something up to chance with the wheel of fortune and the fool. All right, so let's see what channel messages they want you to know. So if you're getting married to this person or you want a commitment with this person or this is some sort of business deal, you have to kind of know that this person is a wild card. All right, so I wanted to get some crappy cards out here, but I can't seem to reach it. It's like in a bin, another little holder I have. <laughs> so I couldn't reach it. I had to grab the whole thing. Okay, so I'm here in mercy with the number four, with one plus three is four. So I'm getting mercy. Maybe your name is mercy or they want mercy from the ethers. I'm also hearing the laws of the ethers uh, created by wisdom and understanding, grace, rule, power, and vision or the power of vision. So your person has the power of vision with the king of swords. They have a power of vision hand. My time is running over. So I'm going to skip the crappy cards that I worked so hard to pull over here. And we're going to get some channel messages. I don't know why I'm hearing 20 years ago, twin time. And the first time I saw you. We have addiction. So yeah, definitely addictions head. This could be traveling, uh, uh, attracted to negativity, maybe toxicity, drama, violence. All of that is stored up in this person's negative, sorry, in their nervous system. And it, this is something that has to be drained out purged out hey so addictions may be something that this person is hiding or they're denying even to themselves or you could have an addiction to food sex attention somebody's having to deal with this and all of that is being purged out or dealt with through this waiting period getting to this marriage we all have addictions my love all right don't don't point any fingers hey we all have addictions that needs to be corrected or it needs to be replaced with alternative or better habits and addictions i believe in us so this person believes they're doing things uh and it may not be the best but this is what they know this is how they know to deal with things they want you to be more open they want to be more open and they're on, un they're uncovering and overcoming a lot of things that limit them or block them from being so loving and open. So they're going to reach out soon. I recognize who you are and growing apart. So listen, some of you may not be recognizing this person anymore, or they feel like that with you. Maybe they feel like you're growing and you guys are growing differently or you're growing apart. That may be a fair that this person is avoiding or avoid looking at, or this could be something that could possibly happen. And they're trying not to think about it or deny it. Like, you know, I got to do what I got to do, but I hope this person is not getting over me or losing interest, but it's a possibility that it could happen. Tell me more. I can't face your words right now. The truth hurts, stubborn, discouraged. So you may, this person may know that you're a truth seeker or you're a truth sayer and talking to you, uh, even though you're not aiming to hurt people, but they know you're going to be direct and truthful and they just don't want to cope with it right now because they know you're right. And again, however they're going about life, it may have put them in a predicament where they have no choice or this is all they have. This is the car, the cards that they were dealt with. I'm stuck in the past. And that could be with the wheel of fortune, feeling like the past is going to disturb or uh, create havoc when they want to reunite or marry you. Or the past could be infidelity, maybe scaring this person and they're doing whatever they can to hide this, to avoid the truth from coming out. Uh, you're different. That scares and allures me all at the same time. Intense connection, deep feelings. 
bad mind. So your person may be surrounded with bad people or this is the other part of themselves that they're denying or pr pretending that doesn't exist. But I feel for some of you, you know that this person could have vengeance. And I did mention vengeance in another video. I can't remember, but there's vengeance here. And it could be, be it could be that this is what your person is afraid of. Past people or past situations coming back to eye for an eye, tooth for a tooth. So vengeance, or this could even be that this person feels like God is angry with them for the things that they have been doing, whoever they deem as their protector, and this is ca uh, cause and effect, or this is justified. Something this person is going through that is justified, they know it. They understand that this connection is very valuable and important. They don't want you to be a part of some sort of vengeance. This could be people that worked with them or people that felt like your person uh, slighted them in some way manipulated them in some way this could be ex-lovers feeling like your person swindled them or took advantage of them because whatever happened happened on that part so your person is in this shadow they could also be fighting a lot of their shadows a lot of their evilness before they could be who you need them to be in a healthy relationship they could also be trauma that's creating pain and disturbing this person's health so take it how it resonates we all have godly and um dark energy so it all depends on where you want to be this person is coming off of one boat and hopping onto another boat they want this new beginning. They already know what grief and suffering and evil is. Now they want peace, love, joy, happiness, wholesomeness. So I'm going to leave it there. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Check out the description box below on how you could hit that tip jar. Check out your comment box. Big up on yourself. Like, subscribe, share, share, share. And I'm going to leave it there. This person is in their leadership and they're taking they're masterminding. I feel like they're cleaning up something here as well so that it doesn't affect you guys in the future. So yeah, chat to you guys later. Ciao.